Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Anna. I do mobile home life. I do cooking, cleaning, organization, motivation, hauls, and much more. In today's video, once again, I will be making a crock pot meal. This isn't something I found as a recipe. I mean, it's my own idea that I came up with today to make. I had some chicken thighs thawed, so I need to get them cooked. I don't want them to go bad. So I have this package of the thighs. I also will be using this rice aroni chicken flavored rice. I'm going to put cook that right in the crock pot. Hopefully it works. This is a test. I hope it works because I don't want to waste the food. So first what I'm going to do, I got to put my glasses on. I need two tablespoons of butter, which I have right here. That is going right into my crock pot. Okay, I'm going to get that going now. I'm going to turn it on high. Let that start heating up. Okay, I'm going to add two and a half cups of water. There's one. There's two. And I have a half here. Okay. Instead of just water for the rice, I am going to be using some of this uh, chicken bouillon. I will be adding that to the water. It is one teaspoon per cup. So what I'm gonna do is add two teaspoons. This is bouillon powder. Okay. And then I'll just add a little bit extra for that half cup. Okay. So what I'm actually trying to do, I'm following the recipe I'm following the recipe on the rice aroni. I am not going to brown the rice like it, it says to do on the stovetop. I'm just going to put it all right in the crock pot and see what happens. I'm risky that way. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add this whole box of rice to the water, butter, and the chicken bouillon. I have the seasoning packet that came with the rice. I am also going to add that. Okay. I'm going to grab a spoon. I'll be right there. Sorry about that, guys. It's kind of early. I wanted to get this started so it's ready for dinner later. All right. That is what it looks like right now. All right. The butter, chunk of butter is in there. The water, uh, the powdered bouillon. The seasoning packet and the rice is in there okay I have the temperature on high next I have my chicken thighs I will open them
I will be putting them right on top of, right in, right on top of the crock pot, on top of everything else. Okay. There we go. I'm hoping this comes out right. This is one of my rigged meals, so we'll see. Uh, what I'm going to do is get some seasonings. All right. All right. So what I have here, some granulated garlic. I'm going to add some of that to the chicken that's on top. I have some seasoned salt. I will add some of that. I also have some paprika. Loosen it up a bit. Okay. And I think I'm gonna add some pepper. There's enough salty flavors in there, but I will add some pepper. All right. So that's what we got going right now. So what I'm gonna do is let this cook away on high and I will come back and we can check it and see what it looks like. Okay, so I'll be back. Guys, that was quite the senior moment. I am so glad that I noticed that that was unplugged. That is crazy. I would have uh, thought that was cooking all along and it wasn't, but thank goodness I plugged it in. Guys, I am back. Take a look at this. I think it's going to turn out really good. Look what it looks like now. The rice is becoming thickened nicely. The chicken is cooking well. It is not fully cooked, the chicken through yet. So I lowered the heat to low. And I am going to continue to cook it until it is finished. And my friends, I will be back and I will show you what it looks like completed. I'll see you soon. Okay, my friends, I am back. The chicken and rice is finished. Here is the finished meal. It turned out delicious. I didn't think it would come out. I wasn't sure. I've, this is the first time I've made it this way. As you can see here, the chicken is very, very tender. The rice is nice and fluffy. Turned out great. I'm so happy I didn't have to waste this. And I wanted to say thank you so much for taking some time in your day to watch my video. And to all my subscribers, thank you so much for supporting my channel. And if you're new, please consider subscribing. And also comment down below, introduce yourself and say hello. So I can say hello back. Thank you once again. And I hope you have a lovely day. I will see you next time. Thanks again. Bye y'all.